Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Auto Switch mod from Minecraft 1.16.1 and Minecraft 1.16.2. What this mod does is automatically switch your tool to the correct tool you're supposed to be using. For example, if you're mining straight ahead and you suddenly run into dirt, it's going to switch from your pickaxe to your shovel automatically. When you get done with mining through that dirt with that shovel, it's going to switch it right back over to your pickaxe and start mining stone or ore or whatever right away. It's a pretty cool mod, and it's great if you're playing on a laptop or something like that because it makes it a lot easier to use a trackpad and not have to switch back and forth all the time between your tools, right? So very, very simple there and a great way for, like, accessibility on a laptop or something like that when playing Minecraft. So we're going to be going over exactly how to get it in this video. First and foremost, though, if you don't want to start a server, Apex Minecraft hosting allows you to do it without using your own hardware at all, and it is absolutely incredible. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and at Apex, you can set up a server in under five minutes very, very quickly and very, very easily. They are incredible, and it doesn't matter if you have a good computer, bad computer, good internet connection, bad internet connection, as long as you can play on servers like High Pixel and Breakdown Craft, for example, you can play on a server with Apex Minecraft hosting that you fully control and can add your own plugins and mods and mod packs and anything like that too, again, in just a few clicks. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server set up for you and your friends. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the auto switch mod installed. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you to the official auto switch download page here. Once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16, and then click on that purple 1.16 button to the right of that there. Oh, then take us off here where our download will begin in just a few seconds. Auto switch will automatically download in the bottom left here. As you can see, do you want to keep this file? Yes, we do. As long as it says auto switch in the title, we are safe to keep it. For those of you on Mozilla Firefox, it'll say, do you want to save it in the center of your screen? And yes, you do, as long as it says auto switch in the title of the mod. Now we still need to download the Fabric API here. So to do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take us to the Fabric API here. This is a compatibility mod for auto switch. Come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft. 1.16. Under that, you'll see Minecraft 1.16 or 1.16.2, whichever one has the green release button here, and then go ahead and click on that purple download link. By the way, this tutorial does work for 1.16 and 1.16.2. This is the time I'm recording this. 1.16.2 is in pre-release, so we're going to be using 1.16.1. But nonetheless, once you've got that download now, downloading now text there, coming down here to the bottom right where you need to keep the file. It's safe to keep as long as it says Fabric in the title. And again, those of you on Mozilla Firefox, we need to save it. We're not done downloading though. There's still one more thing we need to do. We need to download the Fabric Launcher itself. To do that, you want to go to the fourth link. It's in the description down below as Fabric Mod Loader. When you click on that, it's going to take you here. Or you want to click on this download installer universal slash dot jar. Just like always, that's going to download in the bottom left where we want to go ahead and click keep. On Mozilla Firefox, you want to save it in the server screen. It's safe to save or keep as long as it has fabric in the title. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser. And here at the desktop, I have the auto switch mod, I have the fabric API, and I have the fabric installer. Awesome stuff. I also have these unconfirmed files. You won't have those. Those will disappear from my computer here in just one second. But if these aren't your desktop, what do you do? Well, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You'll then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here I'll have auto switch, fabric API, and fabric installer. Take all those and drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to start with a fabric installer. Now, one thing I will say is if these don't look like these Java coffee cups here, they don't look like these Java logos, they look like, you know, WinRAR files or just a piece of paper or something like that, they don't look like these files, I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute, but go ahead and right-click on the fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, it's the same thing you need to do to fix these files and make them look correct. You need to go to the description down below and go through our in-depth tutorial for Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Auto Switcher is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java, which is just a normal version of Java. It's Java 8. It's downloaded on your computer instead of ran through, just through Minecraft, which is what it does by default. And then you'll be able to install the mod. However, it may not make the files look correctly, and you might still have troubles opening them. And if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files in your computer work with Java once again, basically linking them up and making them work perfectly. Now finally, we can minimize our browser. We can right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It will then go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer here, where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.1 or 1.16.2, whichever one is the newest version, is selected, and then go ahead and click on Install. 
and then you go through and say done there where you can go ahead and click OK and boom you're done it is installed the fabric and launcher basically now you want to go ahead and click this X to close out of the fabric installer and we can install the auto switch and fabric API you can move the fabric installer to your recycling bin and get it off of your computer we need to install the fabric API and the auto switch mod to do this we want to go to the windows button again it's in the top left of my screen bottom left of your screen click that little windows button in the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead this time and type in run are you in we then have this run app here click on that and it will open up this nice little text dialog sort of box here you want to enter into it where it says open this text box here percent sign app data percent sign percent app data percent and hit enter it will then open up our roaming folder where in here you'll have a dot minecraft folder and then in here you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do well don't freak out all you need to do is create one so right click over here in blank space or anywhere actually you can right click here it doesn't matter click on new and then click on folder then you want to name this folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and take the auto switch mod and the fabric api and drag and drop them into the mods folder right like this once you've got auto switch and the fabric api in here you can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and then once you've opened up the minecraft launcher you should have a fabric loader profile down here and it should say fabric loader 1.16.1 if it doesn't say that click on this little arrow and find it in this list and if you still don't have it no worries we have another solution and that's going to be clicking on the installations tab up here this time you want to go ahead and click on the plus new button right here this plus new button click on that and you can name this whatever you want we're going to name it play.breakdown craft.com why are we naming that because that's our own incredible grief protected survival server we've got medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy we've also got amazing 1.8 factions with custom enchantments incredible envoy drops small team factions you'll love it and then we also have skyblock as well which is receiving a huge update very very soon but it has op enchantments 1.8 pvp custom islands custom quest it's amazing so come play with this play breakdown crap.com is the ip nevertheless though we want to click on this versions drop down box and then in here we want to find release fabric loader and then it should say 1.16.1 or 1.16.2 depending on whichever one you're installing at the back end here so when you see that go ahead and click on it it should say release again fabric loader and then 1.16.1 or 1.16.2 at the end and then i'm going to change our resolution you don't need to do that i'm just doing that because we're making a video and then click on the green create button in the bottom right now you have this new profile down here at the bottom that you created it should say fabric loader and then it should have 1.16.1 or 2 at the end and then if it does you can go ahead and hover over it and click the green play button now minecraft is going to open with the auto switch mod installed we've already installed it there's nothing else you need to do at this point other than just confirm the mod works now one thing i will say is that the uh, fabric mod loader doesn't have a mod list which is a little weird also it can take a long time to open up on first startup so don't freak out about that it's opening now as you can see so don't freak out if it does take a minute to open up it's all part of the process of using fabric um, and, and getting mods set up with fabric here so as you can see we are opening up and it will open up to the main menu here in one quick second there we go and now once we're on the main menu the best thing to do is just to jump into single player now i will say that i'm going to jump into just our test world here i'm going to go into survival get some stuff in my inventory and then mine away basically just to show you that this is in fact working so let's go ahead join on in boom let's get this loaded up oh this is a really cool seed let me do slash C, so you all be able to see the seed. it's a good seat anyway let's go ahead and clear all of our inventory last time i was here we were doing an world edit tutorial so a lot of stuff in the inventory there we're going to get a pickaxe we're going to get a shovel we're going to get ourselves an axe as well and by the way this will work with all tools so we'll go ahead and switch and grab that as well oh we'll grab another right axe that's so cool they added new tools finally to minecraft um and then there we go that'll work these will work so now we can go ahead and do first time set day just so we can see right like so Ooh, if i can type correctly sorry everyone I've got having some typos tonight. Anyway, time set day, and then we're gonna do slash game mode survival, right like so. Now, I have an open hand here, right? As you can see, nothing in my hand. If I just click, it automatically switches to the tool, and then back to my open hand, right like that. Guess what? Start mining that. Boom. We're on that. Keep mining. This is a super super help for mod, as you can see, making sure you're always using the right tool. And imagine if you were using this on a laptop. That's the real benefit here, and I'll, I will stick by that fact, that if you are playing Minecraft on a laptop, you have to have this mod, because it is so helpful. 
And as you can see, just immediately switching to that. And then, oh, we've hit sandstone, but that's okay. We're switching right away to our pickaxe to mine that sandstone. It's great. And it is a 10 out of 10 mod. And guess what? It's even going to work over here. If we run and let's, oh, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. But anyway, he almost died there. But anyway, let's go ahead and run over here, right like so. And we should be able to chop down this tree very, very fast. And it'll automatically switch to that axe there. Boom. Automatically switch to the axe. We can chop the tree down without a problem. And then we want to pick up some of this uh, some of this dirt here. We can. But let's say we want to mine all the way down to where we see stone. And guess what? Once we start seeing stone, it's immediately going to switch to that pickaxe, even on the diorite. So awesome stuff there. This is an incredible mod. Again, that is a must-have on laptops. It can really help out on desktop PCs as well. But on laptops is where you're going to see so, so, so much benefit but nevertheless there you all have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week come play with us on our own minecraft server play.breakdowncraft.com we have the best minecraft server in the multiverse you will absolutely love it i cannot wait to see you online my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace